We have a ton to hit on here today. We 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 do, man. Oh my god, Howie! I went back and watched that fireside chat that they had yesterday. Who was asking questions? Who were the people asking questions there? I thought it was like a college classroom and you were being taught communications 101. How are you feeling, Howie? <laughs> hey, what's your opinion on Shane Steichen? Who cares about any of that? You think anybody at the Combines that was there talking to Howie Roseman and Nick Siri Liar, anybody cared about the players that they were there potentially scouting? You think anybody really cared? How about the meat questions? What happened at the end of the year? Here's another one. Why are you still here? Here's another one. Nick, you have no responsibility. Why are you at the Combines? Why can't you just ask a normal question? Okay? Why? Why can't anybody ask a normal question? But on to me. It's almost like half the people that are there are like on a payroll. Like some of the people that come in here every day to tell you guys my show sucks, like LJ and some of these other guys, every day, four hours a day, they put my show sucks, no one watches everyone. It's like they're on a, I hope they're getting paid. I pray to God they're getting paid. Because if they're not, they have a mental illness about them. Every single day, they try to tell people not to watch the show, and I suck, nobody cares. Uh, we're, we're blowhards, whatever. We lie, we're this. You should never watch the show. The show's losing, which is not true. Get this. Less than 1% of the total viewing audience that is in a dumbass chat box watches the show on a daily basis. Do you understand that? Three people could be in the chat box. And 7,000 people could watch the show later on in the day. Less than 1%. So it doesn't matter. The chat box doesn't run the viewership on the show. They're lying. But hey, I hope they're being paid by some media outlet to come here and try to tell you guys not to watch the show. Because if they're not, they're truly weirdos. Because watch, for four hours, this will show up. And they'll keep telling you, don't watch the show. Show sucks. Where's Tone? Where's this? What happened to this? I don't know. It's, it's kind of like the Philly media talking to Nick. It, it's funny. It's like some of these people are on paid... Or, or like, or like, like, be paid to ask questions. It's ridiculous. As I said, I, I went back and watched that interview. Okay, like Callie Green, why do you come here every day to tell me I suck, not to watch the show? No one watches the show, and the show. Did, did I nail it, Callie? Did I nail it, Jermaine? Same thing. Hey, why are you here? Four hours a day telling people that the show sucks, no one's watching, which isn't true. I had a two-minute clip that had more viewers on it than the entire interview of A.J. Owens. What are you talking about? Just, I, I don't get it. But watch. Watch for four hours. Have at it, guy. No, I, I appreciate you being here. Shows your dedication. It's wonderful. You know, as I get to the interview that I broke down with Philadelphia's greatest librarian, Howie Roseman, one of the first questions that was asked, so what's the status of Hassan Reddick? He da he da ba, he da ha da bo da ba. What's the best thing we can do for um Hassan Reddick, and what's your relationship with him? What 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 do you want to see? 
Had beat bad boot ba. You know what Howie said? Nothing. You know why? The Eagles aren't committal to him. Why? Why are the Eagles non-committal to Hassan Reddick? Can you answer that? Why is Howie and the Philadelphia Eagles, if this guy, if this guy is so valuable to the Eagles, why in the world are they not committal to him? How come they're not committed? How come they can't just come out and go, hey, man, we love the guy. Um, Ty says, you tell us, expert sales, because they're not. They don't want him back. It's very simple. And once again, Ty, try not to overcook it or overthink it like the, the Eagles traditionally do. You either like a player or you don't. It's very simple. You don't have to play some sort of stupid ass game with him. He was he was asked the question directly. What's the status of Hassan Reddick? What's the perfect scenario for Hassan Reddick? But he did I do having communications, and I really like the fact that we are having talks right now, and that's where we are. He didn't say anything, guy. Yes or no? Why can't you answer it? Because he doesn't want to. He's not committed to the player. The Eagles are not committed to Hassan Reddick. Howie Roseman could not answer the question directly, and it was actually one of the questions that was asked directly to him. If you're committed and you think that that football player is a guy that can help you win, you tell me, you're doing this. I mean, why can't you answer a question honestly? Why? Makes sense to move off Reddick and draft edge rusher at 22. It totally does. It's cheaper, too. It's cheaper. Hassan Reddick, how many people believe Hassan Reddick is going to be on the Eagles after what you saw yesterday? I do not believe that Hassan Reddick will be on the football team in September. I do not believe he'll be there. They're taking offers right now, and it's being conversationed at the Combines in Indianapolis that there's teams out there right now that are interested in trading for him. They're going to trade him. He's not coming back. I mean, two people asked a direct question to him. He couldn't answer it. No, no, no. He didn't want to. I'm not committed to He's not committed. Because you know what? Here's the direct opposite of it. When he was asked the question about Devontae Smith, he's like, that's a player you never want to leave the building. He was committed which leads me to believe they're going to give him an extension or they're going to pick up that fifth year option May 2nd. Very simply done. Finally, some truth. Finally, he answered a question. Look, I'm not expecting Howie to go to the combines and divulge their entire off season plan on what they're going to do in free agency and what they're going to do in the draft. I never expected that. But a very simple question. What are you doing with Reddick? Eat it out of da but uh, what's the perfect scenario? But da da What's your relationship now? Well, we they well, you know, we got communications going on. Okay. Devontae Smith, it's a guy I don't want to leave the building. Pretty simple. Okay. Pretty simple. Negotiation tactics? Broad, broad goes like this. That's a negotiation tactic. So this is a negotiation tactic? Here, watch this. Hey, man, why don't you go out and find another lover? You find a better one? Let us know. <laughs> hey, 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 Kim, if you find a husband 
or a guy that you like better, go ahead, honey. Let me know, and we'll see if we can work something out. You know, if you love a guy enough where you think he's going to be in the room where he's going to help your football team, do you let your wife walk out the building and go, hey, go ahead, man. Have at it. They're not committed. He couldn't be committed at the combines. They're not committed now. It leads me to believe he's not here in September. Nobody in their right mind thinks that they want him back. Except media people going, hey, he's a great pass rusher. And he is. He's limited, though, in his skill set. He's limited. Flexing goes, I want Reddick to stay, but he's gone. Too much money and not as productive as you need him to be. Let me tell you, let me give you, Flexen, let me give you a great example of that. Here is one of the greatest examples of that when it comes to Saquon Barkley. How many people in their right mind would pay $10 million for Saquon Barkley? And by the way, I'll ask you this. Do you think Saquon Barkley's worth $10 million? You think he's lived up to being the second overall pick in the NFL draft? Not in your life. He didn't even give him 1,000 yards last year, albeit a shitty O-line. Quarterback play was pathetic. Nobody in their right mind is going to give Saquon Bark- Barkley 10, 10 million. He's been hurt all the time. He's never lived up to being the second pick in the draft. He's never lived up to it. They need to get better at lying. Hey, Howie, what's the deal with Reddick? He's a hell of a player. And hopefully, we're able to work something out. Q. Thank you. Thank you, Q. Perfectly done. Absolutely. Personally, like I said, that press conference kind of told me some things. And I don't, by the way, that contradiction between Sirianni playing the best players and Howie playing younger players it's not an issue why is that that not an issue how he works in the personnel department of course he wants his younger players and he's a bookworm nick is a coach nick's gonna play the best players because you know why that's the message the players want to hear it's not a contradiction that's how those two departments think One wants to play younger. Why? It's their picks and the money's cheaper. Coaches want to pay, play the best people available to help you win. It's not a big deal. People are saying, get on the same page. They are on the same page. That's how every building in the NFL works. It's not that big a deal. Okay. It's not that big a deal. Kyle, I'm going to get to that. I heard something else. You know what we're going to do here? Big Sills report card. On the Eagle players 25 and younger, Howard Roseman said, we got a lot of young players and a lot of good young talent on this team. I was like, really? Really? Well, let's put that to the test of the fans. I'll tell you what I'll do here. You and I will have a little exercise here on players 25 and under on the Eagles. He says you guys have a lot of young, good players. Want to find out? I got about 20 guys that's on that roster right now that you drafted that are 25 and under. Let's find out if Roseman's a liar. What do you say? And I'll let you do the grading. Instead of having people go, well, this guy I think has great potential is a word that sucks. Potential is a word that says you haven't done it. It's a fraudulent word. It's like an apology. 
An apology in theory is the worst thing on the planet because if you do it again, I should take my own advice here. They're hollow. They're the dumbest things, apologies. Don't do it again.